Well, today was a new start for the city of Rossville. They kicked off their fundraiser for a project designed to replace a playground that was previously torn down. As city officials say, it's not just another addition for the city, but also will be an outlet for kids in Walker County who are following, uh, following the coronavirus pandemic. And Channel 3's Angela Kim has more. We live in the South, so of course people are brewing up some barbecue this Saturday, and it's actually as a part of a fundraising effort to build a special playground for families across Walker County. Some people are, uh, have talents that they share. Uh, ours just happens to be we make good barbecue. Robert Wardlaw and members of the city of Rossville all came together to kick off the first fundraiser for Operation Rossville Playground. We made 500 pounds for this event, and it's almost gone. City of Rossville Council member Michael Hicks says the project is gaining a lot of community support and working towards an $80,000 to $90,000 goal. It's so important to me that the kids of Northern Walker and the, and the city of Rossville have a place to go and play, a safe place to go and play. Hicks says his ideal finish date would be around the end of 2021, but certain dates are still up in the air. However, other parts of the plan are starting to come together. The build will be a community build, so we're looking at uh, you know, having the community come out and help set the posts and dig the holes and get everything bolted together and, and have that, a big to-do that day. Walker County Commissioner Robert Blakemore says there will be future fundraisers as well, but nothing is set in stone yet. I talked to Carthel Rogers earlier, maybe a softball tournament fundraiser. To learn more about this project or future fundraising efforts, you can visit Operation Rossville Playground on Facebook or contact City of Rossville members by calling them, and we'll have those phone numbers inside our WRCB app. For now, reporting in Rossville, Angela Kim, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.